This video is sponsored by Vita Cat. What is up you guys? Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Kira Selena, also known as Nurse Key. I'm a practical nurse and on my channel we talk about quite a few things but we mainly focus on nursing and skincare. In today's video as mentioned in the title, I'm going to be showing you guys the world's most powerful face mask. What I love about this face mask is that it's easily accessible. You can find it pretty much anywhere. It's very affordable. It's very effective. And not only can it be used for face acne, but you can use it for body acne as a whole. So if you have chest acne, back acne, butt acne, any type of acne on your body, this can definitely help you prevent that. So if you have oily or acne prone skin and you're looking for something that you can use that will not irritate or damage your skin and that you can use long term to help you prevent those acne breakouts, go ahead and smash the like button down below and let's just get straight into the video. So the secret ingredient that I'm gonna be showing you guys today, and this is the most important ingredient in this face mask, is Aztec clay. I know a lot of you guys have probably heard about this or seen this before, maybe some of you haven't, but this Indian healing clay is made up of one simple ingredient, and that is bentonite clay. Before we get into putting the mask on my face and seeing what my skin looks like afterwards, let me show you how to make it really quickly. So I like to use one tablespoon of the bentonite clay and then I'll go ahead and use an equal part of water. Now I kind of just continue to mix and add water until I get the consistency of like a pudding. You don't want it to be too runny and like mess up your clothes and all that, but I just like the pudding consistency so that it's easier to spread and it spreads a lot more evenly that way in my opinion. I'm just going to continue adding little drops of water and I'm going to continue mixing until I get the consistency that you see right here. One thing you want to take into consideration when using this bentonite clay is not to use any metal to mix it. Apparently it deactivates it somehow and I'm not a scientist. I don't really know the science behind this. As you guys saw, I used my brush, this brush right here, to mix my bentonite clay or you can use chopsticks or a wooden spoon. Just make sure that whatever you're using is not metal. Plastic works fine as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my mask and personally I like doing this at night and the reason why I like doing this at night is because one of the benefits and the main benefit I would say of bentonite clay is really going into those pores and pulling dirt and oil and makeup to the surface of your face. My nighttime skincare routine is a little bit more detailed than my daytime skincare routine. I really take my time at night because I know that once I wash my face and I do my skincare I'm not putting any makeup or anything that can clog the pores so I'm just feeding my skin all the good stuff stuff and then I'm going into bed with a fresh clean face without putting any makeup so it just gives the products more time to work. I just don't really feel like it makes sense to do all of this in the morning. If you're going to be slapping on makeup right afterwards, I feel like it kind of defeats the purpose. I don't know, maybe it's just in my head but that's just the way I feel. So I just apply this all over my face and this is what the consistency looks like up close. And I'm just going to allow this to sit on my face until it is completely dry. It usually takes anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes. Now there are a few opinions on how to use this on your face. Some people say to use apple cider vinegar. Some people say just to use water. Personally, the apple cider vinegar can be a good option, but I know that it can also be a little bit irritating to the skin. I have used apple cider vinegar for this mask before and there have been times where I've never had an issue, but I will say that there were some times where I tried the apple cider vinegar and my skin did feel a little bit dry, a little bit itchy, and a little bit irritated afterwards. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Vita Cap, they are are a company that makes a bunch of supplements that use mushrooms as their main ingredient. The types of mushrooms you can find in their products are lion's mane, reishi, chaga, cordyceps, and turkey tail. And these all have amazing benefits for the body. One thing I love about their website is that you can choose their supplements based on your personal needs. So if you go on the website and you go by shop by solution, you will see the different categories such as energy boost, to reduce stress, to increase focus, to improve sleep, or to enhance immunity. Personally, I'm a nurse, so the types of mushrooms that I got kind of cater to me and my lifestyle. Obviously, my main focus as a nurse is my sleep and my immune system. Since I'm constantly around people who are sick, I definitely want to give my immune system that boost to fight off anything that could potentially make me sick. 
And since you guys know that I work as an agency nurse, my hours vary drastically. So sometimes I'm working a lot of night shifts, sometimes I'm working a lot of day shifts, and I also have to balance YouTube within that. And that can really mess up my sleep pattern and make it really, really hard for me to sleep, especially because I have a very hard time sleeping in the day after an all-nighter. So the VitaCap supplements that I got are the Michael Immune Gummies and this is made with apple cider vinegar and the mushroom blend. And honestly, it does have a bit of an interesting smell when you first smell it. It smells a lot like apple cider vinegar, but it tastes so, so good. After taking them, I literally have to put them away to stop myself from over consuming because they taste that good. The next one that I got is the sleep supplement and this obviously also has the mushroom in it since that is the main ingredient for most of their vitamins. And it contains reishi, passion flower, and melatonin, which is really good for helping me sleep. So I usually like to take this before I go to sleep. So as you guys can see, I'm doing my skincare routine right now at night. I'm about to go to sleep. So I'm going to pop one of these before I go to sleep, but the immune system gummies I take in the morning. If you guys are interested in checking their stuff out, my personal link will be down below and that'll give you 20% off of their products. So make sure you guys check them out and thank you so much VitaCap for sponsoring this part of the video. Yeah. So this is what my skin is looking like 10 minutes after having it on my face. It is completely dry and my skin feels a little bit tight at the moment, which is definitely normal for a clay mask or a mud mask. But I'm just gonna go rinse that off with some warm water. And personally, I like to actually use a facial cleanser after doing the mask because like I said, this is really good for pulling oils and dirt and all of that to the surface of your face. And just rinsing off might not be enough, right? I don't want all that dirt to kind of just stick on my face and then cause a breakout that would just defeat the entire purpose. Maybe I'm thinking too deeply into it, but that's just what I like to do. And you guys already know that the facial cleanser I use is the CeraVe Facial Foaming Cleanser. Once that is done, I go ahead and do my regular skincare routine. I do have a video for my skincare routine, which I will leave here or here, so you guys can definitely go check that out if you wanna know all the steps to my skincare routine. And this is what my skin is looking like afterwards. I will say that my skin does feel very clean, very refreshed, and I think that's the whole point of the mask because it is a detoxifying mask. So my skin feels very light. It feels like it has been detoxified. I don't feel any irritation or anything like that, and that's because I didn't bother to incorporate the apple cider vinegar in the mask. Like I said, when I use apple cider vinegar, sometimes my skin does feel a little bit irritated, but I don't feel that at all at this point. So I think I'm just gonna cut the apple cider vinegar out altogether. So when it comes to how often you should do this mask, personally, I don't think you should do it more than once a week. You really wanna avoid overdoing things, especially at first. If you're consistently doing it once a week and you see that your skin is reacting very well and that you're not getting any irritation and you wanna do it an extra time then go ahead and do that but I would say to familiarize yourself with the product first and see how your skin likes it before you go overdoing it and once again guys if you apply this on your face or anywhere on your body and you see that it's causing any side effects or any irritation or that it's making your skin worse in any way stop using it just because I recommend something doesn't mean it'll work for everyone this is something that I've tried and it has worked for me but it does not necessarily mean that it's going to work for you so if you want to try it go ahead and do that but if you see anything anything abnormal stop using it anyways guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and let me know down in the comments go ahead and press on that like button or the dislike button either way thank you guys so much for watching if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content from me in the future go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notification bells that way you will be notified whenever i post future content make sure you guys follow me on instagram and check out my skincare playlist and i really hope to see you all in my next one thank you all so much for watching bye